Someone watching right now could be a mega millionaire less than an hour from now, as a matter of fact. The Mega Millions jackpot, a cool 830 million bucks. The only problem is, if you live in Alabama, as you see right here, you have to travel across state lines to play to Florida, to Georgia, Mississippi, even up to Tennessee. Fox 10 News reporter Stephen Moody now joining us live tonight just across the line in Florida with more about this. Stephen? Yeah, hey, we're outside of a store here about a mile away from the Alabama state line. You can actually see the sign there behind me, and we're not the only ones tonight who made the trip. Boy, I'm sure better one. The Mega Millions jackpot is at $830 million, with the lump sum estimated at $487 million, and that's a lifetime's worth of dough. And participants travel from all parts of Alabama here to Florida, including three and a half hours from Tuscaloosa. It's frustrating, especially with the fuel prices as well. But, you know, hey, had to give it a shot. And other Alabama residents feel the same way. They believe the revenue from lotto sales would have a huge impact on the state's economy. The money we bring down here, we can be taking there in Alabama and doing things for the schools and other the roads and other uh, structures. It's crazy. I mean, it can help the schools and, you know, so much more. So we definitely need it. Especially, you know, with we're just right here in Baldwin County. You know, a lot of people travel here. And Florida's getting that money. But it's a trip that could pay off. In order to win, you hopefully win, you got to try. And they'll all be watching when the numbers are drawn. Good luck to whoever wins it, and I hope you do the right thing. You know, just don't think about yourself, but just know it's hard on a lot of people. And if you're fortunate to win this money, then do the right thing. And those numbers will be drawn at the top of the hour. We'll have them live on Fox 10. Reporting live tonight here in Escambia County, Florida, Stephen Moody, Fox 10 News. All right.